have been appointed to two different positions. One of them is at the county level and one is at the state level. In terms of the county level, which is the uh, Center County Advisory Council to the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission, and I've been on that since 1991, and currently I'm one of two people here in Center County, Pennsylvania, who answers uh, the hotline phone calls for people who feel that they've had been treated unfairly and help them find the services they need usually with the Human Relations Commission, and if it doesn't fit in that category, either because the law doesn't cover their uh, issue or because it really isn't a discrimination issue, then I help them find the services they need elsewhere in the state. In terms of the Pennsylvania Commission for Women, that is a state-level appointment by the governor, Governor Rendell, and that was a result of me initially having worked on, on his 2002 campaign for governor, and when he won that election, as part of his transition, he uh, solicited uh, recommendations for people to be appointed to the board's authorities and commissions in Pennsylvania. I was appointed to the Pennsylvania Commission for Women. On that uh, commission, I was went to my first meeting and uh, was appointed uh, the director of or chair of the uh, legislative committee. There are three committees in the commission, and as part of our duties, what we do there is advocate for um, more involvement and equitable treatment of women and girls uh, throughout the state. And in, uh, other activities that I've done include um, chairing that legislative committee, attending um, meetings with legislators, helping craft uh, letters to go out in email about uh, issues of uh, women and children, experience with over 20 years of work with NOW and civil rights. And as a result of that, I was appointed to the uh, Commission for Women. And uh, I found it to be very rewarding. That I'm able to provide my expertise and services to both the local community and the statewide community to assist people in uh, having an equitable and fair treatment, whether it's uh, in terms of employment, housing, public accommodations, or uh, in more general economic justice um, or general women's issues such as uh, stopping domestic violence. So I, I can actually put together my professional work as president of Pennsylvania, now the National Organization for Women, as well as um, working uh, through a, an official capacity to help uh, and assist people throughout the state. In terms of uh, the local community, I've been able to, uh, at an individual level, help people find the services they need, get them to the Human Relations Commission so they can file complaints and, and get fair treatment, whether, as I said, in, in housing, accommodations, or um, employment. A couple of cases I remember are a little girl who wasn't allowed to play baseball and as a result of contacting me and getting her in touch with the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission, this local school district changed their policy so that now uh, girls and boys can play on the softball and, and baseball teams. Um, in terms of employment, uh, last year in State College I was able to work uh, using my capacity as president of Pennsylvania now as a member of the advisory council to work with the State College Borough Council to uh, craft a new employment anti-discrimination ordinance that is probably one of the most progressive in the country. It not only covers all of the state mand protections, but it adds gender identity, sexual orientation, marital status, familial status, and family responsibilities, which basically means you can't employ you can't deny a person employment or promotions or treat them differently because of what their family responsibilities are, whether from its pregnancy through elder care. Um, most of my training has been through experience. I do have a PhD in human development, uh, which I uh, went and got after having done some advocacy work through now, start, which I first joined in 1979. And so I have some research training that I've used at the state level, uh, Pennsylvania Commission for Women, where I have actually helped write, along with two different interns, uh, the status of women reports for the state of Pennsylvania, 
Um, but basically, it's my on-the-ground experience, grassroots organizing that has helped me get these positions that I've done. I believe that you need to have a passion for uh, whatever issue is of your concern, whether it's transportation, women's issues, discrimination. Um, there are different, many different kinds of authorities, boards, and commissions. Which, uh, whatever your passion is, work at it, whether it's through a paid job or through local community activism. Get that experience, and then when um, openings up, put your name forward, send in your resume, and uh, ask for recommendations. Um, that's what I did, and because of my experience, I was able to get both of these uh, appointments. And I think if you work at it, you can do this as well.